Hambini fans and welcome. In today's episode of The Hambini Show, we have a review of this. You won't be able to see it from over there, unless I turn it on. We have the Wuburn B2 bike light. Now, a lot of you know, well, in fact, a few people who I go time trialing with, um, we go time trialing at sort of four or five o'clock in the morning when it's dark, and we require two things, a light to see and a light to be seen. This one is the light to see. So it is Women B2. I will talk you around it and how it attaches to my TT bike now. So this is a Wuben B2. Um, it was sent to me from uh, Wuben Light in China. They, well, they knew that I was a, an avid TTer well, in the mornings anyway, and riding to work when it's dark, when everyone else is asleep. This is, um, I think it's, well, I'm not even sure how many lumens it is. I've stopped paying attention, but this is the light. It's, well, it's aluminium um, and it's waterproof. The way that this charges, let me just take this off so you can show you, is through this USB-C port here. So there's a USB-C there. The battery, fortunately in here, is removable. Yeah, so it's 4,800 milliamp hour. Um, it's all O-ring sealed, so shouldn't really give any trouble. I mean, that O-ring's been in there for a few thousand kilometers and seen plenty of wet weather, so hasn't really been touched. The weight of the light is 212 grams. It's also got a shroud over the top of it. So that's actually quite useful because when rain's coming in and pissing down, you tend to have um, a little bit of a, uh, a bit of a screen against it. It is got, it has got few different modes so to turn it on I think you press it once um, press it again and it gets brighter press it again and it goes to dim so there are your different modes I mean that is seriously bright so this is the weight of the clamp it's roughly 30 grams now I like many scenarios low-tech solutions this works really well because the clamp is on a ratchet, so you can turn it around basically to any angle you want. The light itself is not that heavy, so bolting that onto the bike is a piece of piss. I'll show you that now. So this is the light that's bolted onto the bottom of my handlebars. You could actually put this anywhere. Because of the amount of adjustability you've got in it, you can put it anywhere. It just literally turns on. I mean, that is bright. It's probably not showing up on uh, uh, the camera that well, but it, the beam spread is really good. So this is my light, almost it doubles up as the to be seen light because the beam spread is so good. I mean, taking this off is again, not particularly difficult. You can just um, turn it off. And it slides off. It does have a couple of other modes. So if you press it twice, it goes into flashing. So again, really, I mean, it, the thing with these things is, if you don't think about it, then it's actually a very good product because uh, you know it doesn't give any hassle. It just works. Finish is good. It's hard anodized. I don't know um, what they put on it these days, but it's you know, it, it it just doesn't mark. So the final bit that's key in all of this is how long does the battery last? Well, the battery seems to go for about an hour and a half on max power. As you go down the power settings, it obviously lasts longer. An hour and a half, and then to recharge it, once I plug it in, it's maybe two hours in a fast charger. If not even that, actually, it's a lot less. Um, and then you're good to go again. I've never had it fail while riding, but I don't really ride more than an hour and a half or something like that and I've got backup lights anyway so this for commuting especially if you're doing shift work late at night or you do nighttime TTs like me then uh, it's worth having really very good um, 
aero wise because it's a long cylinder it's not bad compared to the exposure six pack that i used to use um, this is significantly better so there we go there's my uh, my review i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to whack the like button and uh, hit subscribe if you didn't then go and watch some of the mainstream wanketeering channels thank you very much and until next time keep banging your hairdresser